Hello and welcome to Picture Astrology. Saturn, a planet which intrinsically shows the kind of obstacles you face in life, the kind of hurdles and opposition which you need to overcome. And Cancer, the most emotional and sensitive sign of the entire zodiac. So what are the life lessons which are indicated by this placement of Saturn in the sign of Cancer. And what are the practical implications of this? What activities you should find and see in your daily life and changes which you should incorporate to overcome these? Let's talk about all this in next few minutes. Let's begin by talking about one of the most important things regarding this combination and that is related to your health. Now Saturn we know is the slowest planet which is considered in Vedic Astrology. It is also the coldest one again among the visible planets that is visible through naked eyes which are considered by Vedic Astrology folks. And it is a planet which is completely dispassionate. It doesn't like attachment. It doesn't like emotion. It's the like dry and devoid of emotion planet. Now if you see Moon is quite opposite to all of these. Moon which is the ruler of sign of Cancer and both the Moon as well as the Cancer sign shows a lot of emotions. Again complete antithesis of dispassionate nature of Saturn. And it is in flowing water, active water like a river which is flowing. And Saturn on the other hand is the slowest planet. A lot of activities, especially driven by emotions, are not an environment which Saturn likes. So obviously, this whole um, ambience of Cancer is a bit of challenge for Saturn to handle. So what happens health-wise because of this? Now we discussed in the very beginning that Saturn represents obstacles in life. Now in human body, as well the obstacle theme continues. So anywhere you find obstructions or clogging in the system, Saturn is invariably responsible for that. It can start with simple indigestion and then later on leads to troubles like piles etc. But more importantly, Cancer, the flowing water in the body represents the flow of blood and Saturn is any kind of obstacle in that. Now at the same time, the sign of Cancer shows the area around your chest and also the ribcage area which hold your heart. That's where most of this active water, the pumping of blood across the body, the rivers which flows through the veins and arteries in your body are powered through. So the first thing and the most important thing is that this placement of Saturn in Cancer is related with some or the other kind of obstacles in the flow of fluid across the body. Now that flow of fluid uh, mostly people think is related to blood but there are many other fluids which are constantly flowing in the body and the flow of the fluids is not just limited to you know the arteries and veins there are flow which happens across them as well because the veins and arteries are very porous. And I have made actually a detailed video about pranayam or breathing exercises about uh, you know how they help not just the flow of blood in the veins and arteries but the other exchange of cellular fluids through entire body which includes your muscles, your nerves, your bone marrow, your bones and you know basically every single cell of the human body. And so basically this planet of obstacle in the area of free flow of water exchange can cause trouble related to any kind of fluid exchanges within the body and it is one placement which is very closely associated with blood flow troubles. Now obviously this trouble is going to be much more when Moon as well as Mars is afflicted and if Moon and Mars are weak then you can pretty much say that the problem will definitely be with the blood flow because Moon represents the flow of blood as we saw and Mars is the red blood cell in your body. But on the other hand 
say if Mars and Moon are strongly placed, then the chances of those kind of troubles is little bit lessened. But say along with this placement, you have the placement of Sun is weak or afflicted, mostly afflicted. Because Sun as a planet or graha represents heart. Heart as an organ is represent, represented by Sun, but the casing or the environment in which it is hosted, the ribcage area in which uh, heart is placed in the body is represented by the Cancer sign. So if this placement of Saturn in, happens to be in Cancer with a weak or afflicted uh, Sun, then heart could be one of the problem areas. And by far one of the best remedies available for this placement is pranayama or breathing exercises. You know that can relieve a lot of issues of this placement and I would highly encourage you to see the video about pranayama which I have made earlier. Now the second most important thing related to this placement is the emotional aspect of it. As we just saw that this sign of cancer is all about emotions and Saturn unfortunately doesn't like it. So it can give you some or the other kind of emotional troubles. Now what would be the source of those troubles? Now one common source is Saturn is the karka of your work life. So if your horoscope is something which shows you know some or the other kind of job you're working for somebody or in some organization then taking too much stress taking job or things which you do at work too much to your heart could be a problem it could also be that your subordinates or uh, colleagues in the workspace can or their actions can affect you much more than it should now this does not necessarily means that the people in your workspace or around you are kind of plotting and scheming against you. See what they are doing is their job and business. How it affects you is the only thing in your control. Now what this placement uh, Saturn in Cancer would definitely show is that either you take too much stress of the work, you probably uh, bring your work to home most of the times or constantly thinking about it or worried about things around, uh, around that and if the 10th Lord and 10th house are afflicted too then this could show a little bigger problem otherwise if these two aspects are strongly placed then the Saturn here would give good success but uh, only after some stress and success because anything in the active sign active sign make you work hard and make you work in different different ways and though Saturn doesn't like an active environment, especially with the moon or the emotions involved, but with 10th Lord and 10th house strong, your passion for work can give you great success. Now, third most important point is just simply, uh, you know, a lot of emotional nature. Now, that is something which can manifest in many different ways. One of the problematic ways in which this can manifest is too much attachment to your stuff, to the things which you owned, to the things which you have from past, especially from your childhood or from your past homes or older homes or of things related to your mother. You know, uh, if with this placement, suppose fourth house is not strong, then people just tend to hold old stuff. You know, it becomes very difficult for them to get rid of those things and they can clutter their home and their environment around. So it is very imperative that emotionally you try to not get unduly attached to things. And again, that breathing exercise could prove to be extremely helpful even in the cases of emotional turmoil because of this placement. And also help in the ability to, you know, easily get detached to things or not hold things. But obviously remember that in any of these things to manifest to the full extent, if you know say moon is weak and afflicted then those emotional issues and holding and those kind of things happen to much larger extent but if moon is say strong then all it would show is attachment towards you know past things or liking towards old things not necessary holding or cluttering of house now one more important thing is if the moon is weak or especially the fourth house because fourth house is the repository of all your experiences related to the affairs indicated here. If 
these two factors are simultaneously problematic then it can show some troubled experiences from mother side or in the early childhood either too much discipline uh, discipline being imposed on you or it can also show a really hard working mother somebody who really you know had to work in the um, in this world in an unforeseen manner or face obstacles in life to help raise you now as i said those indicates indications have to be commented upon only by looking at moon and fourth house and friends we can actually come up with a great level of details by considering different you know aspects in association uh, with this saturn and also by looking at this saturn from a particular ascendant point of view like um, saturn in cancer for aries ascendant that can really give very very precise information so in coming few days i will make videos which will go into more deeper and precise interpretation of this placement but for now thank you so much for being with me and watching the video please do share your valuable comments for the benefits of everybody and thank you again for watching hope to see you soon bye bye